hi Debbie here uh, I can't see you again on this you cam but I'm gonna make another video anyway uh, I'm coming to you today I'm gonna show you my new purchase okay I got a cinch I saw this advertised on our uh, creating craft channel and actually it was the blue one I was looking at and it was over oh, I think it was about 129 about 130 pounds or £120, something like that. Anyway, so I went online and I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll try it. And uh, came across the sale section. And in the sale section was the yellow cinch. The only difference with this one and the blue one was that this one has square pegs and the other one had round pegs for round holes and square holes. Um, but it was £80 once I'd taken my discount off. And for that saving, I thought, huh, I'll get the yellow one. So anyway, I got this yellow one. So this is my new thing. Um, and of course, once you've, oops, sorry. Once you've got the right tools, I always say, um, it's, you know, you can you can do it. I might not use it all the time, but when, when I need it, it's there. So anyway, I've got a friend's birthday this week. So I thought, oh, okay, let's have a bash at making a journal or a little uh, traveling something or other. So anyway, this is what, I've made. I have to be careful because this is still drying. Um, it's my first attempt, so I've got my square binding, just did a little binding trick, and I'll just open up and show you. So I've used lots of papers from, let me find it for you. Hmm, I thought it was there. But yeah, it is. Hold on. From here. So I used a lot of the papers, as you can see it's full of bits, it's DCWV, the Timeless Type Stack, and I used a lot of papers from there. I got this when I was over visiting my brother in Canada, amongst many other things. Um, so a lot of the papers I've used from there. And so I've added just a couple of things just in, not everything's going to be included in this album, it's just so I can show you what's what. Um, so I've made a pocket, that's a pocket there. And every page, bar two or three, I've got it's got something on it. So this is things here. There's some photo mats, and it's for a friend's birthday. I thought she could maybe use it. She might not use all these bits and pieces, but not everything's going to go in there anyway. Uh, I've done some Tim Holtz stamps. There's some great stamps uh, of his that I've got, and this one says, "You're the one." Whoops, who makes me the way you see me? And there's two photo mats there. So, so go through and it's, see I can't tell if you're seeing this correctly because this stupid machine, well not machine, the you can. So, there we go, and each page is different, there's something in each one, some little mini pages I've incorporated as well. Um, the journey is never over, it just changed course and a little clock. Um, Another mini page. These couples blank just so she can smash something onto it. Because I suppose hmm, you could use it as a smash book. I don't mean actually literally smash something over it, but another stamp. The impossible is often the untried. Uh, things that matter the most must never be of the mercy of things that matter least. Another pocket, tags, and then I've added this little envelope at the back to put little bits and bobs in and then at the back is that so that's my first attempt bookbinding journal I actually used the it came with lots of wires and it came with um, a 6x6 six six, a 12x12 12 12, and an 8x8 eight eight set of book what are they chipboard something like that um, but I don't think it does make a nice it does make a nice hard cover but for the majority of time I don't think I'll be buying those because they are expensive um, I might just use some really thick card instead um, and see how that goes so that's that what else have I got to tell you uh, oh yeah my obsession with candles has now taken a turn for the worse I've currently got three on order using two and I've stashed two um, when I was over in Canada I went to ba uh, Bath and Body Works and I couldn't fit anything in my hand luggage. It was already full. So all I could buy from there was some of the little 
um, hand sanitizers. It's the only thing I could squeeze in. And I was desperate to get some of the candles. Uh, and over here in the UK, you pay an absolute arm and a leg. Um, and just now they're, they're about $12 in the sale. Um, but I did buy one the other day from somebody on my Facebook site and I've paid £10 for it normally. Uh, they're about, I think over here, they're, they're about 18 to £20. Pounds. It's a lot of money, but they're supposed to be very good candles. I've only got one. I've got it in Sparkling Limeade, which is not probably something that I'd normally choose to pick. Um, so if anybody likes Bath & Body Works, in fact, what did I want? Oh, I did want... Oh, I had some warm vanilla sugar. Um, so if anybody wants to do a swap or um, likes going to Bath & Body Works and can pick up bits and pieces, you want to swap or trade or whatever, get in touch with me. I'd love some candles. I'd love some Bath & Body Works stuff. Just even the travel size stuff would be great. Um, we could do a little swap. But I am desperate now to start a little of the um, candles. So if you can help me out, that'd be great. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.